what we've got here is a 1977 25 foot black fin cutty with tandem axle trailer I believe that's a 1999 it's in good shape it's got the all the equipment ready for a couple of small diesel engines swim platform it's got the split cutties the engines get mounted right underneath the consoles on both sides we've got the uh, t-top with the tuner tower all the way to the top of that seat is about 14 feet it also does have a bimini a solid aluminum custom bimini that goes on top of that yet which would probably make it about 16 feet high it's in good shape for 1977 it's got some age marks dings but all in all it's in uh, it's in pretty good shape we got the uh, 25 black fin back into the yard up on the deck here a quick look at the interior couple of captain's chairs once again the, the dueling helms with the pet walkthrough where the uh, small block engines are going to go you got the uh, t-top tower got all the cushions removed from them and put away today so they don't take a beating while we're doing the project uh, it's all maintenance areas for the pumps below the deck front seating once again, pads are missing, a little bit of carpenter work. Very cool storage, teak, rod holders, both sides. And then there's the forward, I don't know what they call it, a cabin, I guess. But I got it full of pads. Pads are all in great shape in there. The front uh, anchor locker. There's covers for this lower area. But we're actually entertaining the idea of tearing the top off of this to the front of that hatch straight across and out to the sides to the same thickness as that right here and make it just an open fisherman because the cabin in my in my uh, regards is pretty useless but we have to find out whether or not it is going to affect the rigidity of the uh, of the front of the 25 It's the last day of January 2016 here in the boatyard. Uh, so far we've got the bilges 
or the motor boxes all cleaned up, painted, ready for motor installation. Uh, got the final sanding done on the inside of the cockpit walls all the way around. They're really in pretty good shape. So the entire inside of the cockpit is ready for the paint. You can see the different coloration up front, left side. It almost looks blue. That's the color that's going on there. It's actually called uh, cloud white. So next step is paint uh, and, uh, and then the motor installation. The boxes have already been painted and they're ready to go back in, but we're just going to leave them off. The floor, I'm not sure if I'll keep it white or this cloud white or go with a, a light tan. I'm not sure, but there's where we are today. critical to put gold in the box so that I can keep going with what I want to do this summer. What we're shooting for is 200 ounces. My gold just keeps falling out right here. Where are the gold right now? Where are the gold? Here's the money shot.
I'm talking about. Powder coating. And that's, wizard works. That's not even really how you're supposed With to do it. With easy bake oven. But we're doing this for rust proofing. We're doing this for rust. This is one of the fabricated Y pipes that we had to uh, custom build for the exhaust. It's actually four inch, so it's big. Had to cut in, turn it into a Y pipe. The inside had to install a baffle to deflect air and water down through and out. Next step is powder coating. You know, working on these freaking motors, you know. What the hell is all that max of wires for? There goes that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty kind of bright. Turn a couple more on. Uh, you only have one hook up. Oh. They don't have no fuses in anything. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Testing day, February 29, 2017. We've got the water hooked up. Gauges, panels. All powered up. All powered up. I don't, I don't think it's going to run. Go ahead. You don't have any gas in the harbor, I don't think. <laughs>
Chapter five, tank removal. Three hours of gouging the foam. We're about ready to get her out. See, now we gotta get it to come back. It's March 7th, 2017. We're about four months into the Blackfin project. We had to pull a gas tank because of the contamination we kept experiencing. And it's no surprise, this is the outside of the tank. We had several holes that just kept letting fuel out, moisture in, dirt in. That's a pretty big one. <laughs> so that is the old tank. It took about four hours of digging out the foam that kept it in there and another hour to pop it out. We got lucky. The wizard came up with a great winch idea. And there's the bed where a new tank will be laying, but who knows when that'll get built. Moving forward. Bad habit. Moving forward. The year is 2017, uh, but we're looking back about 40 years to 1977 when they used the orange shade colored carpeting on the roof and the ceiling of the cuddy of the black fin. And I tried vacuuming some of the sections you can see right up there. Every time you touch it, dust and powder just falls off everywhere. It's nasty. So. I thought I might be able to clean it up, but I think it's too far gone. Removing it's going to be tough. I don't know what I'll put back in there, but uh, we'll show you as we go. Well, this was officially 12 hours of the nastiest nasty I've ever done on a boat, tearing out the old carpet that was contact cemented to the ceiling and to this wall, which was just horrendous trying to get that stuff off of there. But now it's off. That's the good thing. And now I'm just going to think about what I'm going to put back up here. But I got about five gallon bucket full of dust out of here really nasty <laughs> it's first time the engine's running on the new gas tank all carburetors have been re-cleaned all brand new gas lines everything that's the way it should run right there Six miles an hour. Rivet. <laughs> 